Japan is arming itself like it never has before. Concerns about North Korea's missile development. Honor China's huge military buildup in the Pacific. Military budget is being ratcheted up. Japan has always been a nation of innovation and creativity. The country has shown the world some very remarkable achievements and contributions. But Japan has faced many threats and challenges from its neighbors and rivals. Especially in recent years, Japan has seen a rise in hostilities and tensions with China, which has been expanding its military and economic influence in the region. This tension has been more intense since Japan declared that it would stand by the U.S. in defending Taiwan's sovereignty and freedom from Chinese interference. To do so, Japan Japan has been working on improving its military strength and capabilities, especially its navy. And now, Japan's navy has just revealed five shocking, never-before-seen weapons that could change the balance of power in the region. So what kind of weapons are these, and what does this mean for the future of Japan and the region? Join us as we discuss the five shocking, never-before-seen weapons that the Japanese navy just revealed. Japan's Ministry of Defense, or MOD, has revealed its plans to invest in research and development of some futuristic equipment in the next few years. The details of the project were disclosed in the defense budget request that was recently published. The budget request for fiscal year 2024 amounts to 5.48 trillion yen, which is about $49.6 billion, a 2.6% increase from the previous year. One of the weapons that the MOD intends to develop is a combat support multi-purpose USV. This is a large unmanned surface vessel or USV that can perform various missions in support of manned vessels. It can counter enemy ships and submarines, as well as conduct reconnaissance and surveillance. The USV is expected to have a length of about 30 meters and a displacement of about 200 tons. The USV can operate autonomously or remotely from a land-based control facility, remote bridge, via satellite communications. It can also adapt to different weather conditions and handle malfunctions automatically. Moreover, it can communicate and coordinate with other USVs to form a network of unmanned platforms. The USV will use artificial intelligence and machine learning to enhance its performance and decision-making. The USV will have the ability to replace its payload's mission module depending on the mission. It can equip sensors, anti-ship missiles, and torpedoes to engage enemy targets. It can also evade enemy threats by submerging itself in the water, making it a hybrid of a surface and underwater vessel. The USV will use electric propulsion and fuel cells to extend its endurance and reduce its noise signature. The research for the USV will be conducted from fiscal year 2024, fiscal year 2027, and the test will be carried out from 2026 to 2030. The MOD hopes that the USV will enhance the capabilities and survivability of the Japanese maritime force in the future. The USV is part of Japan's effort to strengthen its defense posture in the face of China's growing assertiveness and North Korea's nuclear and missile threats in the region. The next weapon is the unmanned amphibious vehicle. The UAV is designed to support a manned assault amphibious vehicle, also called AAV that is already under development by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. The AAV is a tracked vehicle that can travel on land and water and carry up to 21 troops and three crew members. The UAV will have a similar shape and size as the AAV, but it will be unmanned and have more advanced features. The UAV will be able to operate autonomously and remotely from a land-based control facility via satellite communications. It will use artificial intelligence and machine learning to make decisions and adapt to different situations. It will also be able to communicate and coordinate with other UAVs and AAVs to form a network of amphibious platforms. The UAV will have the ability to replace its payloads depending on the mission. It can equip sensors, anti-ship missiles, and torpedoes to engage enemy targets. It can also transport supplies and equipment to the troops after they have landed, thereby ensuring the logistics of the operation with fewer personnel. The development of the UAV must have the ability to overcome the reefs that are common on the islands of Japan, which require power powerful propulsion. For this reason, electric power assist technology will be incorporated to make the chassis more compact and to secure space inside the vehicle. It is also expected that the technology obtained from the AAV will be utilized for the UAV. The research for the UAV will be conducted from the fiscal year 2024 to the fiscal year 2027, and the test will be carried out from 2026 to 2030. The MOD hopes that the UAV will enhance the capabilities and effectiveness of the Japanese maritime forces in the future.
future. The UAV is part of Japan's efforts to strengthen its defense posture in the face of China's growing assertiveness and North Korea's nuclear and missile threats in the region. The next weapon that was revealed was the anti-torpedo ATT. The Type 12 torpedo is a state-of-the-art weapon that the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force has been deploying since 2012 to counter the submarine threats from neighboring countries. The Type 12 torpedo is a versatile weapon that can be fired from various platforms such as destroyers, SH-60K helicopters, and P-1 maritime patrol aircraft. The Type 12 torpedo has a range of over 50 kilometers and a speed of over 50 knots, making it one of the most advanced torpedoes in the world. However, in the face of impending war, the JMSDF is not content with the current capabilities of the Type 12 torpedo, and so they want to make it even more lethal and reliable as they expect growing challenges from the enemy submarines. The enemy submarines may be equipped with high-performance torpedoes that can evade or resist the conventional countermeasures that the JMSDF uses. These countermeasures are called soft kill, and they involve using acoustic jammers and decoys to create noise and false targets to mislead and divert enemy torpedoes. However, these soft kill methods may not be enough to deal with the advanced torpedoes that the enemy may use in the future. These torpedoes may have sophisticated sensors and guidance systems that can filter out the noise and false targets and continue to pursue their real targets. That is why the JMSDF is planning to upgrade the Type 12 torpedo with a new feature, the ability to physically destroy high-performance torpedoes fired by enemy submarines. This is called a hard kill capability, and it is a more effective and reliable way of neutralizing enemy torpedoes. Hard kill means that the Type 12 torpedo can directly hit and explode the enemy torpedoes, preventing them from reaching their targets. This way, the JMSDF can ensure the safety of their own ships and aircraft from enemy submarine attacks. To achieve this hard kill capability, the JMSDF will not only improve the Type 12 torpedo itself, but also the sonar system of the destroyers that carry it. The sonar system is the key to detecting and tracking the enemy torpedo at an early stage and sending the information to the launch tubes of the Type 12 torpedoes. The improved sonar system will have a higher sensitivity and resolution and a longer range and coverage than the current sonar system. This will enable the Type 12 torpedo to quickly locate and intercept the enemy torpedoes before they get too close to their targets. The JMSDF is aiming to complete the development and testing of the upgrade Type 12 torpedo by 2029. They will start building prototypes from 2024 to 2028 and conduct further testing from 2025 to 2029. The testing will involve various scenarios and conditions such as different types and numbers of enemy torpedoes, different depths and distances, and different environmental factors. The JMSDF hopes that the upgraded Type 12 torpedo will pass all the tests and improve effectiveness and reliability in anti-submarine warfare. The next weapon that was revealed was jointly developed with the U.S. to help Japan respond to hypersonic weapons, in particular dealing with anti-ship ballistic missiles or ASBMs and hypersonic glide vehicles that target naval vessels. This weapon is called the Glide Phase Interceptor or GPI. Japan also decided to develop a domestically produced system to be installed on future destroyers which will enhance their capabilities to detect and engage HGVs and other threats. The first components of the system is a new type of radar that can track high-speed, high-maneuverable, and small targets with high accuracy and reliability. This radar is called a multi-band phased array radar, and it uses two different frequency bands to achieve optimal performance. The S-band is used to detect distant targets, while the X-band is used to track relatively close targets. The radar is also expected to be scalable, meaning that it can be adjusted to fit the power generation capacity and size of the vessel. Gallium nitrate technology, which is a semiconductor material that has high efficiency and thermal stability, will also be used to increase the power of the radar. The development of the radar will take place from 2024 to 2028, and the testing will be conducted from 2029 to 2030. The second component of the system is a new combat management system for destroyers, which is the software that controls and coordinates the various sensors and weapons on board. The idea is to develop a system that is scalable, flexible, and intelligent to cope with the challenging and complex security environment. Scalability will be ensured through open architecture, which is a design principle that allows for easy integration of new equipment in the future. Flexibility will be achieved by using artificial intelligence to support faster and more accurate decision-making and operational planning, as well as to reduce the workload of the crew in anticipation of a shrinking population. Intelligence will be demonstrated by integrating radar and other sensor information to ensure the ability to deal with multiple threats, including HGVs, and to provide situational awareness and tactical guidance. 
The research on the CMS will be conducted from 2024 to 2028, and the testing will be conducted from 2028 to 2030. By developing these two components, Japan aims to create a robust and advanced weapon system that can protect its territory and interests from the growing challenge of HGVs and other threats. The GPI and the associated system will be a key element of Japan's defense strategy and a demonstration of its technological prowess and innovation. The last weapon revealed was a new surface-to-air missile. To complement the radar and the CMS, Japan will also develop a new missile system that can shoot down HGVs in the air. The missile system is called the New Ship-to-Air Missile Capability Enhancement, or NSAM-CE for short. It is based on the New Ship-to-Air Missile, which is a new type of missile that Japan has recently acquired for its naval forces from the fiscal year 2024 defense budget. The NSAM-CE will have some major improvements over the NSAM, which will make it more effective against HGVs. The first improvement is the Seeker, which is the device that guides the missile to its target. The Seeker of the NSAM-CE will have a better ability to detect and track HGVs that fly at high altitudes, at high speed, and at irregular trajectories, which make them hard to intercept. The Seeker will use a combination of infrared and radar sensors to locate and lock on the target and to adjust the missile's course accordingly. The second improvement is the side thrusters, which are small rockets that are attached to the sides of the missile. The side thrusters will improve the maneuverability of the missile at high altitudes where the air is thin and the missile has less control. The side thrusters will allow the missile to change its direction quickly and precisely and to follow the target's movements more closely. The third improvement is the fire control system, or FCS, which is the software that controls the launch and guidance of the missile. The FCS of the NSAM-CE will be upgraded to handle complex and dynamic scenarios involving HGVs and other threats. The FCS will use the information from the radar and the CMS to determine the optimal timing and angle of the launch and to coordinate the missile's flight with other missiles and weapons. The development of the NSAM-CE will take place from 2024 to 2030, and the testing will be conducted from 2028 to 2031. These are just some of the weapons that Japan is developing as it prepares for a possible invasion from China in the next 10 to 20 years.